A couple of taxi cab companies pushing the State Department of Transportation to approve the licensing of 70 new taxi cabs. These cabs are wheelchair accessible and are powered with compressed natural gas. News 8's Andy Wark on the scene at the DOT in Newington with that story. This is the prototype for the new wheelchair taxi cab. As you can see next to me, instead of a passenger seat, is where the wheelchair would go with hooks here to secure it. They also have a shoulder strap for your seatbelt. Behind it, room for another wheelchair. All they need now is approval from the DOT. There is currently just one taxi cab accessible to the disabled in the entire state. It never stops. It's, it's booked day and night, both with demand response calls and advanced reservations. The need is so great, Metro Access and Yellow Cab Company are petitioning for more. How am I going to participate in society? And the Department of Transportation began the hearings today. Michelle Dupre, one of those testifying. Most everybody in the New Haven area anyway have significant transportation problems. She says about 25% of the population is either disabled or elderly. Just going to the grocery store or even church can be next to impossible. These cabs would change that with easy accessibility with the ramp and plenty of room inside. Um, it's kind of set up similar to a London taxi cab where you can actually stand up in the back and walk around. There's and this cab is green, powered by compressed natural gas. It's as safe or safer. Uh, unlike gasoline, if you're in an accident and there's a rupture of the tank, the uh, compressed natural gas dissipates. There will be two maintenance and fueling centers in the state with three tanks in the back. They get about 290 miles. Each one costs over $46,000, but because they're clean and green, they're subsidized by the federal government. That there's a great need for this and um, any um, assistance the state can provide us in making our communities more accessible would be wonderful. I think a lot of people could really use this service. This hearing is just for the towns in the Hartford area. They will have another one for the New Haven area next month. Of course, we will let you know what happens. On the scene in Newington, I'm Annie Rourke, News 8.